For more episodes of the Games Rule Podcast, check out our website, www.gamesrulepodcast.com. You can also follow us at twitter.com forward slash games for all, or check us out on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash games for all podcast. The Games Rule Podcast is brought to you in association with HostGator. For all your web host needs, check out hostgator.com. Hello and welcome to the Games Rule Podcast, episode 64. I'm your host, Dan Young, and with me as always are my good friends, James Craigie and Michelle Barry. Hey, how's it going, people? Are we good? Oh, all right, are we good today? The yeah. yeah, I know, I know. <laughs> <laughs> we've got there. Um, so, we are once again going to mention about our Game Night Live recordings that we aren't doing live anymore. Um, big fiasco of the week when we try to record our Sega Retro Classics episode. Uh, we're actually re-recording that tonight after the show. So um, you'd expect a short one. It should be, tonight. yeah. It's, well, we haven't got a lot to talk about today, actually. No. And it work, that works out pretty good. Um, so, yeah, expect uh, our, our kind of re-recording of Sega Retro Classics Game Night Live to go up probably Monday. Uh, fingers crossed, if everything goes well. We're going to shoot. We're going to shoot it tonight and try and edit it by Monday and throw it up on the website. And so, we're not actually keep be, my diary open. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so just, just, just a word of warning. Warning. Yeah. <laughs> um, okay. So what have we been playing? I'd like to start because I haven't been playing anything. Okay. Well, I have been playing some stuff. Once again, I will. Sh- I will put that disclaimer out there. I can't really talk about what I've been playing about because it's no. um, the games I've been playing are for a uh, an event that we're planning and I uh, can't talk about it so but what I have been playing um, is Silent Hill 2 director's cut on PC and that's quite okay. a random <laughs> freaking choice yeah uh, it's just because I've had it sat around for so long and I, I, I we recently got a new laptop to record on because James' computer's um, kind of crap for recording on and yeah, we've, we've, you, we've, you, we've, you we've noticed a reduced hum in our episodes over the last yeah, I mean the fan the fan in your in your tower has been ridiculous uh, over yeah. over the however many episodes of recording the show, so we decided we'd get a laptop and uh, so I thought yeah, I'll throw, try and throw some games on there and see what happens and it seems to play Silent Hill Two okay, which is a game I've had sat around for absolutely ages and uh, played probably about half of it on the original Xbox when it first came well shortly after it first came out because I knew some that had it and yeah really enjoyed it and always wanted to finish it off so I've had it kind of just sat around really and um so yeah i'm kind of playing a bit of that it's all so, right so it's obviously not suited for said event that we're planning for no it's okay. not no you won't be playing it james <laughs> <laughs> see that's got me kind of worried because that's the sort of game that would freak me out mm. so mm. I- I- if that's yeah. not good enough <laughs> no it's not just you, know. you wait <laughs> Okay, so yeah, obviously, we, I well, yeah, let's be honest. I've been playing some games for the Halloween special, uh, which we're going to record early also, uh, so just to allow a bit of time for editing and stuff. So we're going to record it at the beginning of September. <laughs> Not quite as scary as the end of October, but we wanted to get the episode up um, in plenty of time. And well, we want to put it up on Halloween, but we want to take our time, take our time of editing it. And we've it's been ten months in the planning this Halloween episode. So do you know what I've just realised? What we're at the beginning of August. Yeah, it's happening in less than a month now. Mm-hmm. Okay, now I'm shitting myself. Good, <laughs> you should be. Okay, what have you been playing? <laughs> um, I've been playing for the Xbox Summer of Arcade, insanely twisted Shadow Planet. Awesome. Uh, this I've seen a few clips of this. I don't really know exactly what it is. I don't think you probably even know exactly what it is. No. <laughs> Weird. It's. I'll give you the premise. You're an alien uh-huh. scanning this planet thing. Okay. This big black shit hits the sun, spreads out, hits the planet that you're on. You're like, oh fuck, oh fuck, and you go off and investigate it, and you basically have to try and sort this shit out. It's a lot of shit involved in this game. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sounds awesome. <laughs> no, it's kind of, it's weird. It's sort of limbo. As the title would yeah, suggest, limbo yeah. meets kind of um, Metroid Whoa. sort of. <laughs> Odd, odd game. Okay. Uh, yeah, but I mean, as, as appeal goes, does it have appeal? Is it? You know? Yeah, it's interesting. Yeah. I, I definitely want to play more of it, but oh, I only got the trial and I can't afford the full yeah, game. Yeah, but have you been eating? <laughs> You've been eating during the day. No. <laughs> Saving up for from dust, huh? Yeah. But um, no, I, I will get around to playing more of it and picking it up sometime. I'm sure. But no, it, it was quite interesting. It's nicely animated. It's got a nice sort of feel to it. I mean, I recommend giving it a go. Cool. 
I've yet to play any From Dust or Bastion or this. I just haven't been online. I've been so busy. Trying to scare the shit out of you. Tisk, tisk. <laughs> okay. Well. Michelle. Please, yes. Michelle. Yes. Um, I, I haven't really been playing many games this week. I've been really Join busy. the club. Yeah. <laughs> So wow, it, does what, kind of, it does kind of work out, you what, know, what, this week. What a brilliant gaming podcast. We're fucking, yeah. We are amazing. We <laughs> yeah, are really good. Amazing. Best show out there. Um, but everyone knows I stick to my iPhone. I play games on the go, really. Yeah. It's practically welded to your hand. To be fair, yes. I, that's, if I if I had that whole kind of gaming on the go type of mentality, I probably would have played a lot more yeah. this past week than I have. Yeah. yeah so. But um, as in names of games recently... What was the last weird named game that we played? Or uh, I played? Finger Ninja. Yeah, Finger Ninja. Yeah, we, that, well, we, made a, <laughs> we, we got an episode title out of that one. Yeah. Um, well, this one's called Nuts. Awesome. So, yeah. Obviously, grabbed you when you saw it. <laughs> I just. Okay, uh, let's get things straight here. I was just waiting for James to <laughs> say something just kind of. It's a squirrel game. Okay. 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 So you've been playing with Nuts? Yes. Okay. <laughs> oh, that sounds really bad. It was meant to. Uh, yeah, it was. Oh <laughs> it was designed that way. So it's a squirrel game. Okay? It's a squirrel game. Yeah, it's basically it's it's designed for you. Do not... you collect acorns? <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> but it's it's basically you, you've got to you use your phone. You tilt your phone to go round the tree and up the tree. Okay. And you collect um, acorns and stuff to go faster and not to bang into any branches. You have three lives, and if you use all three lives, you basically. You, you're dead, yeah. basically. You get eaten by a hungry southerner. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Okay. But, yeah, that, that's that's all I've been playing, really. I haven't really got very far into it, because I think it's... My personal opinion, I don't like it. It's rather shit. Okay, fair days. I mean, it would be better if it was packed in with some fudge. <laughs> 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 um, oh. Okay. <laughs> that was horrible. Um, so, yeah... Um, no, it's good that you're bringing the whole iPhone gaming into this podcast. We don't just stuff we don't really talk about and mm. and all that. But um, yeah, the, the, games like that are kind of hit and miss at the best mm. of times. And I mean, did it cost you anything? I think that one was free. Cool. Well, there you go. I mean, you know, most of the free ones are kind of gash, mm. but like, but, least, but saying that, I mean, it. I did get Zombie Smash was it last week, and that was, I think. That was free. I'm not sure. Cool. But you can't. I think there there are limited games out there that. Are pretty good. Yeah, yeah. Um, but not that many. Yeah. Cool. All right. Well, that pretty much covers. That's the shortest what we've been playing. I think we've ever done. Awesome. <laughs> no, it's, it's terrible. Like you said, we're probably the worst game podcast out there at the moment. Yeah. Uh, whatever. <laughs> you get a video this week, so shut up. Yeah. Um, no. We'll be doing all our playing then. Yeah, yeah. So um, we're going to take a quick break. Um, but before we do that, we're going to mention our good friends over at the Underground Geek Network. Um, please check them out undergroundgeeknetwork.com that's the website check out their archive of episodes uh, they do a bi-weekly show that consists of uh, lots of talking from various people yes. um, you'll agree yeah, yeah James yes. is nodding his head that's yes. Yes, pretty yes. much what it is yes. no uh, they talk about video games anime comic books all things geeky basically and it's a fantastic show really good friends of ours and uh, yeah no promo from them this week but we should be hearing from them next week and so now we're going to take a quick break and we'll be back soon to talk about the lack of news. <laughs> Hello and welcome back to the Games Rule podcast. Uh, so we're going to talk about the uh, the news, <laughs> if you want to call it news. Right. Let's be fair. Uh, yeah. Okay. This week's been slow to say the least. Yeah. Not, uh, not a lot of gaming. We've all been busy. We haven't been playing much. Not a lot's really been happening out there in the world of games. I mean, I'm sure stuff has been, but uh, no, no, mate, not nothing too major. But we're going to cover a few little stories. So okay, just let, let's, do, let's do us begin. Do that, yeah. All right, uh, we'll start off with the news that Sony has purchased um, Sucker Punch Productions. They're the guys who made the infamous games and the Sly Cooper games. They're sort of pretty doing... sure. I mean, I, I I would have already assumed that they owned them, but hey. Well, yeah, they've been doing exclusive games yeah, for them for a while, and they've mm. got quite a good reputation, and I know Infamous has done really well for the PlayStation, so this is kind of just sort of cementing The relationship, that. yeah. That's yeah. kind of cool. And sort of guaranteeing exclusive stuff, and much mm. like other sort of big game companies who purchase multiple smaller companies, 
it's going to free Sucker Punch up to like use other resources and outsourcing within the Sony family. So that's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can I expect some good things. Yeah. Infamous Three, or will they be moving on to something new, or will they be able to do both? That's it's possible. Sort of... I mean, they may. Yeah, the 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 company may just bring on new people now, and yeah, who knows? Well, Maybe Sony can afford projects. It. You know? Yeah. Awesome. Okay. What else is that? <laughs> that was yeah. really quickly glazing yeah. over. Yeah. That was a um, enough about that. Next bit of news. There were rumours over the course of a day. Oh, we like and, then, and, and then it was like finally announced at the end of the day. Um, Gearbox Software, they've announced Borderlands 2. Okay. Now, with, with a very narrow release window of mm. sometime between April 2012 okay. and spring 2013. So okay. Not a lot of wiggle room there. No, not, not really, no. Okay, that's kind of cool. I mean, Borderlands sold really well. I mean, yeah, it's, it's one of those ones that I've wanted to play. Yeah, I actually have play. it. I've, I've yeah. played like about two minutes of it. Yeah, I'm going to have to borrow it off you at some point because I've heard good th- things from it. I've got friends who have played it who swear by it. But to me, it's always seemed a bit like sort of Fallout really light. Yeah. Fallout Zero. Yeah, you know. <laughs> Sugar free. Uh, yeah, okay. Sugar free Fallout. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> okay, yeah, okay. I get where you're coming from there. But no, yeah, I mean... It's sort of a post-apocalyptic shooting with RPG elements. It, but it's cel-shaded. Cel-shaded, yeah. That, yeah. That's the <laughs> so it looks thing. a bit like Crackdown. Yeah. Um, but plays more like... My impression of it is there's a lots of lots of like fetch quests, go here, do this, yeah, then yeah. come back. The bit the bit I played, which is the very beginning, is very much, yeah, sort of that kind of yeah. thing. Which is, is fine, I mean, that's what you expect from that kind of game, so... Yeah. But it seemed all right, and apparently it sort of opens up a bit more. Mm. But yeah, they've announced this. Yeah, so no, yeah. it's just on my list of games to play, to be honest. So yeah. it's been sat there for a long time. Yeah, but cool? you know, you know, I'm I'm hoping it does better than Duke Nukem Forever. Well, yeah, also definitely. I mean, I think awesome. Borderlands Two deserves to. I yeah. mean, you know, with the success of the first one. Yeah, I mean. Yeah. But I'm sort of also kind of wondering whether it's going to be like a bit redundant by the time it comes out because we've we've got Fallout already that's yeah, doing that's really well. Borderlands, yeah, okay, it did all right. But we've also got Rage. Yeah, that's coming out, true. Which that's is another out this month. Well, not this month. This year. This I mean, year. Yeah. Like September. No. Yeah. November. Right. Whenever. It's one, it's one we'll be talking about. Yeah, I've, yeah, I've, yeah. There've been a lot of like new videos of stuff coming up about it, and it looks like it's going to be pretty big. Yeah, I mean, variety. apparently, oh, what I've heard it's like. The frame rate and stuff on that game is ridiculous, considering what they've like what they're able to do with that engine. Yeah, um, yeah, no. Yeah. I mean, I've, I've it don't really put out many games, and no. when they do bring out a game, it's a big deal. So yeah, and it's being yeah. published by Bethesda as well. Yeah. So yeah, exactly. It's, it's yeah. got the whole sort of post-apocalyptic pedigree there, which is sort of where it's set. But no, I've also seen some like console footage and all that, and running on the consoles, it still looks really nice as mm. well. So. Awesome. You know, it looks like that could be a sort of direct competitor. Yeah, I mean, or, it could. Yeah, the fact that if Rage does really, really well, it could really hurt Borderlands Two. But then, if their if their release date if they is release it way, towards the end, yeah, it's like yeah, like 2013 might. Have it might time. be okay. It might be okay. So. Yeah. Okay. No, that's good news. I mean, I, it's glad. To, I'm glad to see they're still making games after they published fucking or developed Duke Nukem Forever. Yeah. Although some people seem to think it's an okay game, I was kind of more than a little bit disappointed with it. Yeah, Aaron over at UGN was saying, oh, you really need to sit down with the Duke and give it a go. And yeah, I'm like, I did I'm that. like, <laughs> I tried. Yeah, yeah, I played a bit. No. I didn't say it to him, bless him. So if he's listening... Well, he's going to know Aaron, now, isn't he? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, sorry, Aaron, it's just not going to happen. I'm sorry. I, 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 I understand. Do, I do, I, I don't know, part of me wants to pick it back up again and play it. I'm probably about halfway through it, so... I do want to play more, but... I, I respect know. that people do like it, but they also have to respect that I don't. <laughs> Fair enough. So, yeah. All right. All right. Last story. <laughs> if, you, if, you, <laughs> if you want to call it that. Yeah, um, I know, it's, it's, it's tenuous at best. It, it's an Xbox deal of the week story, so you know it's going to be good. Oh, brilliant, okay. Uh, are you sick and tired of your gamer tag? Did you really not think it through when you set it up? Actually, I did. Are you bored? <laughs> <laughs> are you bored with it do, do you think it just doesn't sum you up do you think Donkey Lover gives the wrong impression <laughs> <laughs> I don't know I think they would have probably um, banned that, that date game tag to be honest mm, possibly they, they, they're cracking down on that kind of stuff yeah but anyway but that's what your point is basically 
it costs 800 points to change your name which I think is ridiculous in the first place. It is a lot. Yeah, it's quite a bit, yeah. It's like you should just be able to Well, no, to I mean, it. I don't yeah. think that to pay something is ridiculous because there's probably a lot more that goes on behind the scenes just to make it happen, but to pay that much is is a bit ridiculous. That, yeah. That's like a full-size DLC Yeah, it's a, de- it's, it's, a, it's a downloadable game. It's, just, you yeah. know... It's ridiculous. Yes. <laughs> we agreed on that. Yes. Yes, we the are. story. <laughs> the story is for this week and this week. Well, we only, weren't just saying it. Oh, this is stupid. No. <laughs> there is a story here. Yeah, for this week, I'm not sure when the week counts. Whether it's from like the last update to the next update, or whether it's like where no it's been all week. Mm. Uh, the price has dropped down to 560 points. Hey. Hey. So, Champion. So if you are sick of your gamer tag. I was considering changing it at one point, but it's, it's a little um, cheaper to do it now for yeah, about a week or so. Yeah, yeah, but I'm not going to do it. I, I, I like my game tag now. Okay, it's awesome. Sticking with Donkey Lover, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Donkey Lover sixty nine. <laughs> oh, nice. Okay, so that's the, that's the week's news. Uh, don't, don't don't go looking for that on Xbox Live. <laughs> that is not my game tag. <laughs> some some other person has probably got it. Yeah. Yeah, I would have thought so. Anyway, my apologies to you if you've. Well, condolences for... I'm pretty sure I saw a gilf hunter on there at one point. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> he was on your friends list, wasn't he? Or Pro- some, probably. Something like that, yeah. yeah. yeah it's <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's that's the news. Wow, we've we've really... Um, picked some, Whizzed on that. <laughs> picked, some, <laughs> picked some beauties there, didn't we? Um, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> where do you go from there? I'll tell you where. For a break. <laughs> well deserved break. Yes, we've worked so hard. Oh, there we are. This is just crazy. This is going to be a long episode. Whew. Okay, so we're going to take another break, because uh, we need to. Um, when we come back, we're going to be pretty much talking about the UK sales chart, the top 10, as we usually do, and uh, no, there's nothing coming out, so <laughs> just the sales chart. <laughs> Hello, and welcome back to the Games for Podcast. We're going to be talking about the top 10 uh, game sales chart. Yeah. Yeah, something like that, this week, so... <laughs> Michelle's got the the figures and the and stuff, so yes. she has got the figure. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for that. Yeah. People listening, this is what me being slapped sounds like. Ah! Right. Uh, anyway, what's happened to this show? I don't yes, know. Anyway, at number ten, it's Call of Duty Black Ops. Okay, fair enough. Um, you know, this could be down to a lot of things. DLC coming out. We spoke about this last week. Uh, it could also be down to the fact that uh, other games have just sold more. Um, no, the fact that it's back in the top ten, I'm talking. Oh no, about. it was in top ten last week. Yeah, no, yeah. So that's what I'm saying. The fact yeah. that it's still there, it's selling something for a game that's you know almost a year old now. Um, I'll put it down to DLC. I'll put it down to people being uh, kids being on holiday, even though they should be playing it. Yeah, probably. But yeah, I, I was Says in the low. I, I was in the local supermarket the other day mm. and saw some mum buying their twelve year old kid it, and I was so tempted to go up and say, "You do know it's got boobs in it." <laughs> so she wouldn't tell her because you know oh you know this game is violent oh that's alright it's nothing I ain't seen before boobs oh no 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 <laughs> yeah no 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 <laughs> that's, that's, my, that's my impression of a disapproving mum <laughs> that's amazing uh, <laughs> don't don't, don't. Okay. <laughs> What's at number nine <laughs> <laughs> at number nine it's L.A. Noir. okay Awesome game, you know, um, yeah. I still need to finish it, but... Um, it's made quite a big sort of jump yeah, up. Yeah, from number 19. Yeah, jeez, yeah. Yeah, I didn't realise it wasn't in last week. Yeah, that's true. Um, I don't know what could have really <coughs> caused that. Is there more DLC coming out for that, I think? No. No? <laughs> okay, who knows why? They've announced more DLC for Red Dead Redemption, but that's not until September. Uh, but it's free. Interesting. We'll be talking about it then. Hmm. Fantastic. Okay, so it's at number eight. At number eight, it's FIFA 11. Okay, yeah, this is going to last another three it, yeah, weeks because go FIFA 12 will be out soon. So, you know. but, yeah, at number seven, it's Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2. Well, we can hope, fingers crossed, that it won't be in the top ten next week. Well, it, it has it, it'll dr- probably be in there until the holidays finish. Yeah, probably is a good point. I mean, yeah. What, yeah. what was it last week? It was quite high, and that's now yeah, it's number three. It's number three. Yeah, so it's, it's dropped, dropped a fair bit. I mean, it might not. Maybe they start to get bored long. of it now. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's probably not a very good game. I, I mean, I pretty much avoid this kind of thing, so I wouldn't even know what it looked like. But I'm Gears of Wand. Gears of Wand <laughs> was yeah, 
Yeah. For a moment, I was tempted by that, but no. Sorry. And you came to your senses. I was like, what? <laughs> no. The Imperious Curse wore off. <laughs> <laughs> anyway. At number six, it's Dirt 3. Okay. Yeah, that says it all, doesn't it? Yeah. I was drinking, so I can uh, I'm, take I'm, a sip. I'm, I'm drinking. Uh, Dirt 3, yeah. Racing franchises always do really well. Which is what we've said for we've the last it, four yeah, weeks. Exactly. All right. You know, it's to be expected. Yeah. What else? <laughs> Number five, it's Lego Pirates of the Caribbean. Yeah. Kids on holiday. Yeah. yeah. Move on. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, number four, it's... Anyone would think we're going to get through this quickly. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. We've got a place to go, people. <laughs> At number four, it's Just Dance 2 Extra Songs. Oh, uh, Really? Well, what was, was that in expan- expan- last week? Expansion. It's number 18 last week. It's 18 last week. So, right. so yeah, but is I've this... jumped more this, than L.A. Noir. Yeah, but is this... Um, Maybe. And they re-released this though. This is what the extra songs is about. Or is it an expansion? It's it's an expansion. Oh, Jesus. But you know what you were saying last week about Zumba Fitness about mm. you're not quite being an exercise, not quite being a dance game. Yeah. So if you want one or the other, go for that. Maybe people listened. Maybe people decided. You know, I just want a dance game. And got just dance. Yeah, but then when you see what's number one. Yeah. Mm. Yeah, I think everyone's gonna know what's at number yeah. one. Not yeah. enough people listened. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. True. <laughs> number three, it's Call of. Juarez. Well done. <laughs> the cartel. Once again, I mean, it sounds in, on paper it sounds like a kind of cool idea for a game. Well, it's, it's only dropped like one yeah. place. Yeah, no, I mean, it, out of everything that's out at the moment, yeah, this will still be popular for a few more weeks, but uh, yeah. yeah. So, yeah I'm yeah. sure it's going to drop out eventually, you know, like, give, give it a couple more weeks. Yeah. Okay. Mm, at number two, it's Cars 2. Oh, dear it, Lord. Yeah, that seems to have swapped anyway with uh, <clears throat> Harry Potter. Yeah. Then. Well, Cars is the new out of the two, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, yeah. It's, going, it's, it's got Michael Caine in it. That's probably the only redeeming feature. <laughs> well, that's the movie we're talking about, though. He might do a voice for the game. He, he might. He did might the voice some, for the Batman Begins game. It may be some shady ass voice actor trying to do impress him. What, Paul Whitehouse? Possibly. Anyway. I wonder what's at number one, people. Yeah. Yeah. Should, should we name the game? You know uh, what? You know what? I think this week we shouldn't. Yeah, <laughs> we should just ignore it. We'll, we'll let we'll let everyone guess. If you, you know what? If you've listened uh, to the last yeah, few it, it, episodes, if, yeah. if this is the first the episode you've ever made. listened to, <laughs> yeah, it's, it's, I'm sorry. Yeah, yeah, this really isn't. Well, yeah, we won't name the game. Just listen to our last few yeah. podcasts. You should listen to other episodes. They're longer. Yeah. There's more stuff. Our in shows them. aren't normally like this. It's been a very strange week. We've got a lot going on. We, like so, we haven't played much because we've been so busy. Or between all three of us doing our various different things. Nothing's happened really in the last week, in, as far as gaming stuff and news goes. There's nothing. I mean, there's been out like a week. few little bits, but nothing yeah, worth talking nothing, about. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. We're Obviously. scraping the barrel as it yeah. is. And, yeah, yeah. I mean, I could talk about the Batman Arkham City pre-order costumes. Woo! <laughs> I'm surprised that isn't the story. Well, I, I didn't want to come off as a bit biased. Yeah. Okay. So, well. <laughs> you see, I'm, awesome. I'm actually like trying to make okay, excuses. Well not, yeah. Anyway. Um, but yeah, and as far as the top ten goes, it doesn't change too much. Well, it's not going to change an awful lot at the moment because there's very little coming out. There's nothing coming out this week, so we haven't even got anything no. to talk about the there's end of the show. There's some PC so. games and a DS game. Yeah. So like three PC games. But no one cares about those. No. <laughs> those platforms, what? <laughs> there's no no like big games. They're all kind of um, B-list titles. Ah, okay. Nothing, nothing important. Nothing like if it was like. Diablo 3 I probably would have mentioned it but. a fair bit of Diablo 3 news actually this yeah. week but we haven't really had the time to jot all that down so no. hey. so uh, that's pretty much the show <laughs> we apologise it's been a bit of a strange one this week but we are about to sit down and film our uh, Sega Retro Classics Game Night Live episode which should be available on Monday on our website gamesforallpodcast.com if you want to email us and tell us how shit the show's been this week podcast at gamesforallpodcast.com and we will agree with you yeah we'll probably send you an email back saying yeah I just, yeah yeah I hear you <laughs> every, every email we get you'll get a personal apology <laughs> from James yeah from me <laughs> um, so yeah check us out on, on I'm Podcast. so so sorry what the I don't even know what it was what was that what? I was going for sarcastic <laughs> yeah that did, that did turn out so well did it no. <laughs> do you do disapprove of Barbara again <laughs> <laughs> oh, no 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 <laughs> 
Oh god. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what's going on. We apologise. The show's normally a little bit more. Um... I'm better than this. <laughs> <laughs> You're not though. No. Um, no. We apologise. The show's been a bit, bit um, sort of <laughs> not not to its usual standard this week. But um, no, 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 no. We'll, we'll hopefully be back on track by next week. Uh, we'll see how yeah. it goes. But yeah, check us out at facebook.com forward slash games for podcast. Uh, we're on Twitter at games for all. Or if you want to, yeah, check out the URL. Uh, Twitter.com forward slash games for all. So, uh, yeah. <laughs> I have no idea what's happened this week, but uh, we'll be back next week and hopefully it'll be a bit more of a show with a little bit more structure and maybe we'll take it a little bit more seriously. Uh, we'll see. No guarantees, though. Really. Okay. So, have a great weekend and we'll see you soon. Goodbye. Goodbye. Bye. Um. For more episodes of the Games Rule Podcast, check out our website, www.gamesrulepodcast.com. You can also follow us at twitter.com forward slash games for all, or check us out on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash games for all podcast. The Games Rule Podcast is brought to you in association with HostGator. For all your web host needs, check out hostgator.com.